Hello everyone and welcome to another Smart Arts What's in the Box. My name is Jake and today I will be going over what is in June's art box. We got some really cool stuff this month, so let's hop down below and see what we got. Alright, so like always, you will open up the box to your Smart Art brochure. Open it up and you will see some history on the materials of this box as well as a total list of stuff that you're going to find in this box this month. Flip to the next page and you will get your quick start guide to help you get a starting idea on how to use the products. Flip to the next page and you will see your skill challenge guide to give you a little extra challenge using these products. And then flip to the back and you can get some pointers on how to get the best results using the products as well as your weekly challenge prompts. Alright, so first thing out of this box is the Marabou Graphics Aqua Ink Set. These water-based watercolor inks are naturally transparent and have a very beautiful color. These inks can be dissolved once they've been laid down on the paper just by adding some water to rework them to your liking. These will work amazing this month to make some awesome pieces. Next out of this box is the set of Royal and Langnickel Aqua Flow brushes. These portable watercolor brushes will work great with the Marabou inks this month. Just add some water and you are ready to go. Next out of the box is the Spectrum Noir Aqua Watercolor Markers. These dual tip markers are filled with a water based ink that help you take your watercolor creations wherever you go. The vibrant colors of the classic watercolors in a portable marker set. You can use the ink right out of the markers or add the ink to a palette and diffuse the inks before putting it onto paper. These should be absolutely amazing to make a lot of fun things this month. Next out of this box is our bonus item and that is the Royal and Lane Nickel Round Paint Palette. This smooth plastic palette will work great to mix your watercolors in this month. This will make things much easier to get some awesome results with our paints. Next we have our Crate-A-Color Graphite Pencil. This is a water soluble graphite pencil, meaning that you can add this wet or dry. You can use this to sketch out your piece and then use a little bit of water to blend in your lines to your final piece. And the last thing out of this box is the Harmony Watercolor Block. This acid free light resistant paper will work great for watercolors, glazing, gouache, acrylics and more. This paper is going to be perfect to make some awesome work this month. And of course we can't forget about our sticker and candy, but let's get all this ready to get into our final piece. So coming into this piece, I was really excited to try out the Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. I've used a lot of watercolor markers before, but I knew with how good the brush nibs were on the alcohol markers that they had, I knew it would be an absolute treat to play with these. The piece I made is actually a recreation of a drawing that I made back during the Easter time of this year, and I wanted to add a little bit of a spring and summer feel to it. So I changed out the carrot that he is holding in the original and added a nice little pretty flower for him. Since the colors were really pastel, I thought it would be a lot of fun to make the bunny a purplish color and kind of contrast that with a pinkish red flower. These inks with this paper were absolutely amazing together and I had a lot of fun playing with all of it. But I am going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys at the end with the final results.
All right, everyone, that is everything in June's Smart Art Box. These materials were a lot of fun to work with, but now it's your turn to see what you can create using the materials in this box. Now make sure you check out the weekly challenge prompts on the back of your brochure, as well as the weekly videos that come out each week where I try to challenge myself to do them as well. Complete all four of the weekly challenge prompts, post them to social media using the hashtag SmartArtWeekly and SmartArtProject to get your 500 peacock points. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you check out these Smart Art bundles where each box has a very specific set of mediums in them. If you have any other questions on that, make sure you check out the Smart Art webpage. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss videos like this one. And if you like my work, make sure to check me out over my personal channel over at Naughty Egg Draw. The link is going to be down in the description. But that is all for today, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!